Dashboards often provide views of your business objectives at a glance. Using Maplytics you can create customized dashboards. Let us move through the steps. We ship these five dashboards along with Maplytics. Let's see Maplytics Overview Dashboard. Where we can see four different parameters at a glance. Appointment Planner which helps you to view your appointments at a glance from dashboard itself. My Today's Follow-Up Cases by Priority where you can see your Today's Follow-Up Cases, my Top 10 Opportunities which will give you glimpse of your hot opportunities and my New Accounts this month, which is showing new accounts created this month in Heat Map View. You can also define your own categories, here we have classified appointments as High, Low and Normal. User can define their own categories like State Code, City, etc. In addition user can view the details of the record in the dashboard itself by clicking on that record. Click on the refresh button to get real time day 2, if you wish to see larger map click on expand icon. Managers or CXOs can use this Maplytics overview dashboard to get a full view of the organization at a glance. Further salesperson or sales manager can use the Maplytics Sales Activity Dashboard to get an idea about what's happening in sales team. Let's have a view at Maplytics Sales Activity Dashboard. You can also create your own dashboard or customize the existing one as per requirement. Let's go through the steps to create new dashboard. To create a new dashboard navigate to settings and click on Maplytics dashboard details. Click on new to create new. Add unique name for your dashboard. Entity name specifies the logical name of the entity. Query field specifies the fetch XML query to be executed for the view to be plotted on map. You can create query using advanced find and download generated fetch XML and set that here. Here I have already downloaded fetch XML query for view opportunities one this month. Make sure to include latitude and longitude attributes in the query for the map to be able to read the geocoding information and plotting the map. Map type is whether you want to view your data in detail map or heat map. Mode is the type of map you want to view i.t. aerial, road or auto view. Category is the logical name of the attribute to be used for categorization of the result set. Each unique value of the category would be plotted in a different color. This attribute should be present in query. In attribute mapping tab, enter the attribute names of all the address fields to be used to plot the map. If link to attribute is specified then address attribute should be of that linked entity. To configure the tooltip we have provided the tooltip mapping UI. We will populate the views of entity that you specified in entity name. You can select view from select a view drop down. Once you select the view then we will populate the fields that you defined it for that view in available fields. In preview tab, pushpin will be displayed. Now to add this created dashboard in Maplytics dashboard. Go to settings customizations. Click on customize the system. In dashboard section if you want to create a new click on new in top or else you can add this in existing dashboard. Their add name of the dashboard in label field. Set visibility and web resource properties. And click on OK.
Don't forget to publish your customizations. This is it. Now let's go and check if our dashboard is added to it. Here we go. This visual data will help you to outline the organization strategy to tap the market potential in a better way.